Let's rock and roll, baby. Let's go. Clock running, running. Oh, look at the sugar falling out of the sky. Look at the sugar falling out of the sky. The clock, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. We're out lined up three. They have no timeouts. Two, one. I think it's over. They can't get a playoff. Three wide outs. Man, we've had some shots, haven't we? Snap to David Green. There he goes in the corner again, and we jump up. Touchdown! Oh, God, a touchdown! Oh, it's unbelievable. I mean, to play, I mean, it's up there. I think 116 appearance or games between us two. And to be at, you know, 54 wins, 54 wins, I think eight ties right now, it's, it's incredible to, to think that that's what it's come, like you said, come down to after, you know, 116 or whatever games against each other. So it's, uh, it's exciting to know that this game could, you know, finally put us over top of them and, and have one more win. So it's going to, it means a lot. It's a great game. It's the South's oldest rivalry. And it's always a, a great game and exciting environment, and, and we'll be ready to go. All right, we're getting ready to play Auburn. Going back twice in a row. The quirk in the schedule didn't really work to our favor, but uh, that's what happens when you add two new teams and you're trying to make it work. We are going back. We're looking forward to that opportunity. Play a top 10 team. It's a, it's a great game. They, South's oldest rivalry, uh, so there's a lot, lot to do with this game. The fans love it. Uh, it's a great, always a great atmosphere, always a great game. A lot of, uh, a lot of excitement. I think right now it's, it's tied. I think with 54 wins apiece. So this, this right here, um, you know, whoever wins will, will be in the lead. So it's going to mean a lot, and uh, you know, it just means a lot for both of us right now, where each of us are positioned in the East and then in the West in the SEC. And it's going to be a great matchup this year. You know. Uh, Last year, we ended up getting them at their place, but you know, this year they're going to be looking for revenge. It's still a hostile environment, uh, even more now that they're ranked in the uh, top five, top ten. Um, the fans are going to be loud, rowdy, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be intense there. Our series, everybody knows, is 54-54-8. Uh, and eight. It's a tie. And uh, there's actually a .9 per game differential in score over all those years, over 116 games. We're going to the 117th game. That's pretty amazing how close that uh, the series has been. So it's uh, kind of legendary in, uh, in how, uh, how tightly contested most of these games have been and uh, how close the series has been. Very intense. I just, my first experience, my freshman year playing the game, it was, uh, the year they won the national championship, very intense game, back and forth all game long. Got a little chippy at the end, but it, like I said, it just means a lot. It's one of those great rivalry games that, that you look forward to all, all year long. The Auburn game, the Tech game, the South Carolina game, I mean, pretty much every SEC game is, is a fun game. It's an exciting game. There's always great environments, um, and they always mean a lot. Very impressed with Auburn, what they're doing. I can't imagine uh, how excited they're their team is and their 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 uh, their fans are with what's been happening this season. So we're we're walking into a situation with the team that is um, you know very confident, has a lot of momentum, is already used to winning. Uh, you know, going into the season, you wouldn't say that, but by game ten, they're used to winning. And uh, so teams like that are very difficult to beat. Very talented all over the place, uh, and they're playing with a lot of confidence right now. Their whole team is playing with a lot of confidence. Uh, just like every other SEC defense, they're big, they're fast, and, and they're going to make you pay if you make any kind of mistake um, on my part with, any, with accuracy. Just we got to have a great week of practice. I think that's something that we've been able to do the past two or three weeks is really go out there and focus in on practice, focus in the film room, focus in the weight room, go out there, work our tails off, and make sure we're ready to go come Saturday. They're a great team, you know. Uh... A lot of people think they like to uh, pass the ball, but uh, really they love to run the ball. You know, uh, it's going to be a good challenge for us up front. We are still going to have to uh, work on some fundamental stuff, you know. Um, but most of all, we, you know, we're just going to continue being physical up front. You know, uh, that's one of the big things we're working on uh, each and every week. You know, coming up against a team like this who changed the whole season around in a year. It's going to be real good to see uh, where we are. 
and how we can uh, handle something like this. We just gotta stay focused. We understand that obviously we need some help, but we we know we know we need to take care of business ourselves to ourselves to put us in a position that if Missouri does lose two of their remaining games, that we're ready to take over the East.